Hello, my name is Eva Lisa, and I'm the leader of the Pomor Festival here in Varde, and I work as a culture pilot uh, here in Varde. Uh, the Pomor Festival this year is about uh, we have taken the word Pomor and from the Russian word of Pomoria, which means the people who are living by the coast. So this year we are going to have a, a festival for the coastal people in not only in Norway but uh, all over the world. So it's um, to uh, many people coming home for Varda, a lot of people to get together and have good uh, experience with art and music and uh, good uh, standing. <laughs> yes. uh, this year we had to go uh, to one area in, in Varda and try to lift it up and make it more special and get more people to go. Uh, to the sea line or down to the to the ocean. So, um, in cooperation with the local um, people we, and and artists, both from uh, Norway and from Russia, like uh, Pöbel and Taibola with with uh, Alexander, we have painted two walls and helped the people who are the owner, owners of the building to develop their area of of space. And that that can be a good place for people to come together. And maybe next year we can go another place in Vardo and try to take all of Vardo in use. So it was a lot of people coming yesterday, much more than we thought would come. And uh, that was a very nice opening. Well, my name is uh, Ørjan Jensen. I'm uh, the mayor of uh, Varda, and I was uh, elected mayor um, two and a half uh, years ago. And since that, uh, we have um, we have uh, tried to develop a new idea, a new vision, a new strategy for uh, Varda. We have been um, like thinking who we are, why we are living in Varda, why people came to Varda in the first place. And of course, uh, living far north, far east, fishery uh, and fish around the island all year and has been the, um, the way of life for uh, border people for centuries and centuries. And uh, this, uh, we think it's our biggest advantage. It's our big, biggest um, competitive um, uh, to, to develop the community. So we started to say that we have to take fishery back to Varda to develop infrastructure for the for the business for the fishing boats for the industry and so we have uh, have started to try to change the mentality of the people to understand who we are where we are from why we came here and that this is also going to be our future to produce uh, fish food for the world The Pomor Festival um, this year, I think, uh, ha has always been really good for the people of Varda. It's uh, something happening in, in the summer, people meeting their family and their friends and old classmates and all this. But this year, I think, also it's a step forward. Things, I think, this year, uh, it's really nice to see that we are taking also back a little the history of the coast and fishing and this thing in, in Varda and also of course the history between uh, Varda, the Pumor trade and Russia, Arkhangelsk and all these uh, places so I think this year we are combining our culture of fishing with the, the history of trade with, uh, with Arkhangelsk and Russia so I think uh, uh, this festival is really important for Varda people and, and this year is going to be really good also. Yeah. I'm Andreas, uh, I'm working at the uh, Fisheries Museum in Bergen, normally, but now, this summer, I'm in Varda to, uh, to open this exhibition about the uh, spring cod fishing in um, 1955. Um, and this is, um, in many ways, symbolic of the, uh, the, uh, the better fishing that you got after the war. Um, and the reason why we have it in this uh, place is because this is one of the uh, th this is one of the first buildings that actually survived the bombing in 1944, 
um, but the fire just almost took it, but it survived. And, um, and now there is um, big plans of doing things with this building, uh, putting it to use both as uh, for cultural events and also just working with fishing. And, and this uh, exhibit also shows some of the work that was done right where we are standing right now, uh, which is really cool. Um, and I was thinking, okay, this is a beautiful series. Uh, the photos are really like capturing like in detail what was happening. You see the amounts of fish, uh, you see the, the energy involved. Um, and, um, and you know, it's really like it captures the audience it, and it captured me. This is awesome because this is exactly where we are standing right now. Um, so this is where this building is today. So um, you see they're taking the, uh, the fish heads, they're going to be dried and uh, pulverized and used for like um, uh, animal food and other uses. And the rest of the cod is dried and, uh, and then shipped to other places, you know, exported and uh, you get a lot of money for it. Um, and the tongues will be used locally, you fry it on the pan, great dinner. When I was a kid, like when I was a kid in Varda, it was gray, depressing, you know, uh, things were um, going out of business. But now it's like you see a renewed optimism and I think that's so cool. And like the fact that this building is being maintained and um, they're planning uh, whole new uses for it. Uh, it's just super symbolic of uh, this um, this renewed optimism, and I hope it it, it keeps going because it's it's uh, super vital, you know. Меня зовут Александр Менухов. Я художник из Архангельска. В этот год Мы не как обычно что-то строили, а расписали стенку в Варде, где обычно строим. Как я обычно расписываю стенки, это все-таки вдохновение, вдохновение больше каким-то местным колоритом, местной историей. И, соответственно, эта стена не исключение. То есть здесь местный пейзаж, бухта Вардио с маяком узнаваемая, местные лодочки. Но я взял исторические лодки из старых фотографий, старых книг. И, соответственно, тоже интересный момент, когда в самый последний момент люди, ну, когда я уже заканчивал, попросили меня написать конкретные исторические номера. То есть каждый номер здесь, у лодки, он чем-то так или иначе дорог этому городу, этим людям, этой коммуне. То есть первый, я так понимаю, это первый рыбак, который здесь был. Там 63-й тоже что-то значит, какой-то рыбак. И один из который длинный номер это почтовый, я так понимаю, почтовый индекс Вардио, ну местные коммуны. И получилось такое включение зрителей, то есть коллаборация. I've been living in Valdo for six years now. Uh, the fishery in the South Cape of Norway disappeared, so I decided to move to the north there to, to do long line fishing and um, we ended up with buying this beautiful old building that we have like a plan for a community that people come together they share what we have inside they rent a piece of the building to store their equipment and also to do uh, yeah repairing the equipment to bait the long line and there will be also be plans for the future here yeah, to build a small fish factory just for local produced selling the fish fillets, the king crab and a small store in the other end of the building. We are two people that owns it and right now there is eight boats connected to the, to the building and more will come. Different projects will also come. The fourth floor 
of this building will be left to the community to have like pictures, movies, music, artists, art gallery and the rest of the building will be to the people that rent in here to, to, to yeah, whatever they need it for. So it's uh, like a small community we try to, to come together with. Uh, so like today it is pretty cool to see so much people coming and take a look at the old pictures that's been hanging up on the wall. It pleases me very much to see, to see the old history coming through. Всем привет, меня зовут Кузубов Илья, город Северодвинск, Архангельская область, команда сборная Тайбовы. Мы вновь на Поморском фестивале, начиная с 2016 года мы стали сюда приезжать и что-то творить. В этом году команда не столь обширна, не столь велика, но тем не менее мы приехали не с пустыми руками. Александр Менухов создал классный мурал, а вместе с Александром и Аленой Соломатиной мы сделали а, графическую карту специально для детей, для того, чтобы здесь местные детишки могли устроить свой остров сокровищ или играть в квесты. Радостно, что помимо сборной Тайбу здесь есть и клуб норвежского языка из города Архангельска. То есть все те культурные связи, все нити, которые связывали Варлю и Архангельск, Финмарк и Поморье, они все по-прежнему на месте и несмотря на все, что происходит в большом мире, конкретно на севере, в арктическом регионе, мы дружим и Мне приятно быть частью этого процесса, нам приятно быть частью этого процесса. Я надеюсь, что лет через 10 мы отчитаемся гораздо больше проявленной совместной работе. И всем огромное спасибо всем тем, кто стоит за Поморским фестивалем, кто его организовывал, всем, кто поддерживает это мероприятие. Мне кажется, так и должно быть. Добрососедские отношения между двумя странами, между двумя регионами должны развиваться в таком добром, культурном, классном ключе. Всем пока-пока и спасибо за внимание. Искренне ваш Илья Кузубов.